We need to keep learning to read the weather much better, Monica. Yes, we do. We continue to struggle making bad decisions. A lesson we learned early on is that when you travel on a schedule, you end up boating in conditions that are less than ideal. What we really want is less of this. And more of this. But right now, we're just enjoying the journey. Absolutely, 10 out of 10 at this very moment. How's your experience been so far? Ah, very good. Best of the best. You're not worried? No, absolutely not. Thanks for the parental support. Hi, I'm Monica and this is Darren. With virtually no boating experience, we decided to sell our house and everything that went with it to buy a boat and live on the water. Together with our dog, Captain Kaya, we're preparing to cast our lines and cruise to the warmth of the southern islands. So climb aboard and come with us as we go seeking adventure. Did you know that there are three different waterways that leads to the Florida Keys from Miami? You have the Bayside, which is the shallowest, but with the prettiest scenery. Hawks Channel and the Atlantic. So Darren, how'd you sleep last night? <laughs> I slept a little bit on and a little bit off. It was it was very very rough, and the boat was moving a lot, and making a lot of noise. So not that good. We came out into Hawks Channel thinking that that was so much more pleasant than the Bayside finally make, made it through that snake creek that was terrifying and here we are and it's really no better is it? No, it's much much worse actually. <laughs> we probably should have stayed inside. Yes, maybe we should have. Although beautiful, the inside route can be very shallow. You're constantly on your toes just waiting to touch bottom. And the further south you go, the more parties and boat traffic. Which is why we wanted to cross over to Hawks Channel. It doesn't look too bad today for us. There's some thunderstorms out there and the wind's blowing, but it's blowing behind us which will be the first time in quite a while that we've had the wind behind us. Um, and the waves aren't too bad. It's just a little choppy. So and I think we've got four or five hours max to uh, marathon. Then I think we'll be tucked in and we'll be good. Like Darren said, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. As we exit Hawks Channel on this dreary day, we make our way into Boot Key Harbor in Marathon. We pass the famous Boot Key mooring field with over 200 mooring balls, but since they were all full, we had to dock at a marina. Even though the weather wasn't great, it felt really good with solid ground under our feet after days of rolling on the water. We woke up the following day to sunshine and found Skipjack Marina to be a great place to stop along the way.
while we were there, we wanted to check out Key West for the day, which meant we would have to trade our sea legs for land legs for a little while. One freezing hour later on a packed bus, there was no doubt that we were in Key West, home of the Key Lime Pie. So, it's time to act like tourists. Oh, did I mention it was St. Patrick's Day? That looks good. Is that your only green? That's it. No finches. And, big bonus, it was my birthday. That was me. Darren is announcing to all of Key West that we're up here in this tower overlooking a beautiful anchorage behind us, which we didn't really even consider. We took a bus from Marathon down here today because it's a lot faster. It was an hour ride with a bus, which would have taken us five, six hours with a boat. Yeah. So we decided to come with uh, a bus and we're it's exciting. It's St. Patty's Day. It's a fun day to be here. But as we're climbing this tower, we see behind us all these boats that are anchored out. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful anchorage. I don't know if there's really good shore access. That's a, that's a big key, of course. You can't just anchor out there and look into Key West without oh. being able to come in. <laughs> so we're going to have to do some research there and possibly uh, just anchor out in Key West for a few months. Yeah. That would be fun. Got our names on it, Monica. Yeah, for sure. We didn't spend nearly enough time in this place, 
but we wanted to get going while the weather was good as we want to cross the Florida Bay and visit Everglades City. Marathon sure looks beautiful with a bright sun and blue skies. So getting into this fuel dock was an easy, uh, easy thing because the wind blew us right into it, so it was perfect. I'm a little worried about getting off of it because now the wind's going to hold us to the dock a little bit. Not much room behind us, as you can see, for us to back out. So we'll see if we bump that Thankfully, it all went well with no issues. We've learned, though. No matter what the conditions, we are always very cautious as you never know what can pop up. In order to get over to Florida Bay to reach the Gulf of Mexico, we first have to go under the seven mile bridge that connects Night Key in Marathon with Little Duck Key in the Lower Keys. This is a modern bridge that is open to traffic whereas the older bridge is only open to pedestrians and cyclists. The older bridge was originally known as the Knights Key Pigeon Key Moser Channel Passage Channel Bridge. Man, could they have come up with a longer name? Monica. Oh, uh, we just made it into the Gulf of Mexico. Cool. That just sounds so tropical and way south and like a far-fetched dream that actually is happening right now. So that is very exciting. That is. Leave your side. You're the reason. 